Hello YouTuber, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. And today we are looking at a victim of domestic violence. Well, to give you a brief story, a fight broke out between a couple. One of them got really mad and slammed his drawing pad right on the floor. But lucky enough, um, this drawing pad still works for the most part. You know, you can still draw on it and get you know pictures on the screen. The only problem is that um, the owners cannot use this drawing pad wirelessly anymore because the USB port into which the wireless accessory kit is supposed to be plugged has been ripped off completely from the mainboard. And now I'm going to show you exactly where this port is located. And this is where the 14 pins micro USB port used to be. And here it is. The USB port was actually soldered onto the PCBs through these four holes as you can see. So the fact that the port was ripped off after the slams has baffled me completely. But the biggest problem here is that all these 14 tiny data lines have been torn from the USB pins and it is going to be extremely difficult to solder them back together again. And like I said earlier, this micro USB port is required for this wireless accessory kit to work. So without this USB port, this wireless kit is useless. Okay, so let's see what we can do to work this out. And what I'm doing right now is scraping off a small portion of insulators to expose the copper wires so that we can later apply solder onto them. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of flux to make it easier for the solder to stick to the copper wires. Now that the wires have been prepared, let's put on some solder. Use solvent to clean up some of the burnt flux. Now we're going to join an extremely thin copper wire with a diameter of 0.02 millimeters to the tiny copper wires that have already been tinned with solder. And this back breaking process literally took me one and a half hours to finish because the tip of the soldering iron has a very small cross sectional area and because of that it does not conduct heat very well and it also get oxidized very quickly so you have to keep cleaning the tip which is a real pain And this is what it looks like when it's finished. Let's zoom in a little bit just to give you a close-up look. Now let's apply solder mask which is the kind of polymer to secure the joints and to protect them from oxidation. And when the solder mask is exposed to UV light it will harden which will provide a full protection to the solder joints. And by the way, the UV light is being powered by my DIY cell phone charger that you probably saw in the other clip. Okay, after 10 minutes of exposure to the UV light, let's have a look at the result. And the mask has completely solidified. And you can see that when I poke it with a toothpick. Now I have to bend the copper wires backward a little bit to make room for the micro USB port. 
and like before I'm going to apply some flux to each of the four legs before I apply the solder onto the legs to secure the micro USB to the PCB. Now let's solder the copper wires to each of their corresponding pins and you don't have to worry about the excess wires because you can trim them off once you have established a connection between the wires and the pins. This is probably the most time consuming process in this repair video because it took me nearly 2 hours to finish. And to save you time from having to watch this tediously long process, let's jump to the finish line. And this is what it looks like when everything is done. So what I did earlier off the camera is that I scrape off some insulator from the copper traces so that it becomes more convenient for me to test the continuity between the copper traces and the USB pins. Okay, now let's connect this drawing pad to my computer. If this repair is successful, the LED lamp will light up to indicate the battery status. Amber means the battery has been discharged. Green color means the battery is fully charged. And here is the power source when the device is not connected to the computer. And here comes the moment of truth. And voila, my effort did not go to waste. Now it's time to reassemble this drawing pad. That's the end of my repair video, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy.